And this is the scene here at the Hawthorns. Great to have you with us. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's West Bromwich Albion, and they take on Plymouth Argyle. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Unable to keep the ball that time. That's useful play. That's excellent defending following the cross. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Can he deliver it with accuracy? West Brom regaining possession. Jason Malumbi. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Jason Malumbi. Swift. And they need to get tighter here. Able to skip past his man. Taking care of business defensively here. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. He's in behind. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Please meet your wife at the steps of the main stand. Thank you. He's given it straight to the opposition. Swift. And a bad pass it was. Thomas Sassante. Well, able to close down the short. That is a really disappointing effort, goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Bali Mumba. Well, not quite what he wanted to... And he's broken free! Long way out, this. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. But it was a poor attempt. And a goal kick it is. Dan Scar. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And that is going to be all for the first half here at the Hawthorns.
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And this confrontation is underway. He's in behind. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. That is a really disappointing effort. Goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be tested. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, it was a poor attempt. And a goal kick it is. So back underway here into the second half. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Who can they pick out? Well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Well, the defender knew he couldn't get to the ball first, but he just did enough to put him off there. Well, as you can see from the stats, their general play has been really good, but they've missed so many chances, which must annoy the manager because his team should be out of sight by now. Well, he keeps going. But they dealt with the threat posed. Houghton. Mayer. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. And deciding to go short with this one. Body on the line. Well, a good tackle. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Swift. That's useful play. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And he has options available. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. 
Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And a no-nonsense clearance. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Getting forward. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And that'll be a West Brom throw. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Grady Diangana. And he takes it on. Oh, that's really high class goalkeeping. But hang on. Offside is the decision here. defending when it mattered being pressed hard they've got to be really mindful of the time situation attacking though they might be and given away and that will be all for this game anyway and defeat for the visitors much to the disappointment of their supporters well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. 